Hello, Nick Hudali here again uh, for another comment on uh, another movie that I watched and you'll get to watch, uh, I believe, in, uh, on January 6th, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Silence, uh, directed by uh, the infamous Martin Scorsese and again played by Andrew Garfield. This kid is uh, being given... Um, a lot of movies about uh, Christianity and, and Christians. This could be another a calling for you, Andrew. Could be a calling for you. Uh, call me. Hook me up, Nick Dali. And Liam Neeson. Um, you can watch the trailer. I'm not going to give you much about the movie so you can see it for yourself. It's, it's a known fact, historical fact about uh, Jesuit missionaries that went to Japan uh, in the 1700s um, sent by of course the Catholic Church uh, they're called in the movie Jesuits uh, Jesuit priests and it's about those two priests uh, Adam Driver which did great and Andrew Garfield that went in looking for uh, their mentor uh, Leon Neeson who uh, they've heard that he had apostatized, and the movie covers a lot about apostasy of those priests, but of course it never mentions the repercussions, you know, what happens if you apostatize? What happens if you deny Jesus? You know, they had uh, those Japanese believers, uh, and of course most of them didn't do that, step on the face of Jesus and deny him so they can escape persecution and death. And many were burned at the stake and drowned, and that's, that's a known fact that happened in Japan. Now, uh, in the Bible says, he who denies me before men, I'll deny him before the Father. That's what Jesus said. So that's what they ended up doing, these guys. Not all of them, you'll see for yourself. There's not a mention of that. Hollywood isn't going to tell you this kind of fact. But it glorifies the apostasy, which is mind-boggling. Now, my comment would be after the fact. You know, when, I, when they, these guys sat down uh, on a panel, you know, and they, the moderators start talking to Martin and Andrew and, and the rest of the crew and the cast. And, you know, it's <laughs> again, it's just like Hackshaw Ridge where the faith itself isn't magnified or glorified, neither is Christianity, even though the depiction of these Japanese Christians that converted to Christianity and took uh, Jesus Christ for the Lord and Savior and died for, for it. Um, you know, they, they don't examine that, the faith aspect of it in depth. What's new? This is Hollywood, right? Um, uh, so when they sat around and they asked questions, again, it's about self-glorification. Oh, I read this. He did the math wrong, by the way. He says he read the book 29 years ago, but it was in 89. That's 27 years ago. And he's been contemplating making the movie. Probably the, you know, Pope Francis gave him the green light. Go ahead and do the movie. I don't know who the producer is. I forget. It looked like a Rothschild to me, but that's for another topic. Um, the moderator kind of asked him a question, did that affect your faith, Martin? Of course, Martin dribbles around the topic. We know he isn't, he's not a Christian by any means. It, you should, you know, you'll watch the movie. It just became himself, talking about himself. And the same with the rest of the cast. What else is new? And I sat there and listened to them, and I was just like shaking my head. I mean, what, what are the signs? How could you play this character, Andrew Garfield, after playing Hackshaw Ridge and not being touched by this faith? It's mind-boggling how the world rejects the truth, even though they portray it, they play it, they live it, 
for whatever time uh, you know they had to film this you know I'm not gonna talk about Martin or Liam Neeson these guys are old and the older you get the tougher it is for you to respond to the good news that Jesus died for you uh, and in in the movie they show so much about having mass you know rituals of the Catholic and don't don't get me wrong I'm not gonna dwell on Catholics I'm sure there are Catholics that have better faith than I do I'm talking about the system itself the papacy what they teach um, uh, but somehow those Japanese that turned to Christ and died for it understood the message of the cross for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved is the power of God some of these guys the Japanese understood the message what is impossible with men is very possible with God uh, remember the saying where I could rise up children of Abraham from stone you know, God doesn't need us but if you're called to be a vessel of honor then you should be so my message to you and I, li I like you Andrew Garfield and I know you told Jimmy that you're proud to be a Jew whatever that means I don't think you're a Jew you know you got to look at the Pentateuch in the Torah read the Tanakh for God's sakes I don't think you keep the Sabbath or you there's no temple you can't do animal sacrifice what does it mean to be a Jew for you when you're doing all these Christian movies isn't God uh, trying to reach you maybe think about it nobody else has called for this so you'll see the movie for yourself and uh, you can go over the previous comment on Hackshaw Ridge which for some reason I took it took it for granted that uh, people had watched the movie but I commented before the movie was out and now they've seen it you can go back and look at my uh, comments on it anyway that's the message and uh, I'll see you next time keep the faith